talking this morning about SPM. Yeah. 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 What is SPM? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, it's, it, that's, it's an acronym for the Specialized Pro Resolving Mediators. In other words, I ask again, what is it? <laughs> okay. Um, it's actually something that our body makes, believe it or not. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, that's how it was first discovered. Uh, when we take in the good fats, and we talk about that all the time, especially omega 3 fish oil and things like that, our body can take those fats and make them into metabolites, if you will, that can resolve inflammation, quieten it down. And it can also, it makes it, there's res resolvins and then there's marisins, which are actually part of the healing process. It's really quite complicated. The, the research is probably only, what, 10 years old, maybe? It, it's, well, probably, probably. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty fairly new considering. Yeah. I mean, people think 10 years is a long time, but it really, really in is. medicine and in research, that's yeah. actually not that long. But what they started finding is that our body has receptors right. for SPM. So your body has all these receptors, and if you don't have the SPMs on the receptors, then you don't really heal the way you should, and you don't resolve. They do it exactly what it says. They're pro-resolving mediators. So they resolve issues that cause inflammation. So it's a little bit different than just anti-inflammatory, because there's a lot of things out there that are anti-inflammatory. SPM goes a step further on that. It actually definitely helps with resolving the problem so the body doesn't need to have inflammation. Because believe it or not, people don't realize inflammation is part of the healing process. That's why your body does get inflamed. It ain't just because, you know, I mean, okay, we're gonna inflame for no reason. That is actually part of the healing process. Mm -hmm. And if the healing process does not go on like it's supposed to, the inflammation does not go away. And everybody knows out there what inflammation does. Mm -hmm. Makes pain. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's where these SPMs, when they really got into it, studying it, uh, you know, if you, if you look back, you know, over the past 20 years or so, uh, certain medications that were anti-inflammatory, some of them were taken off the market because they shut down all inflammation. Now you do, you shut down all inflammation. You have, and inflammation is broken into two parts. We have a cyclooxygenase one and a cyclooxygenase two. Short term for that is COX-1, COX-2. And so when you sprain your ankle, COX-1 takes over, boom, we're gonna have red swelling, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's the inflammatory process that has to happen. But then that has to resolve at some point in time and then we have to start these things to resolving the infl infl inflammatory process and the healing process. And a lot of the, uh, even things over the counter that, you, that we were, we've relied on for, God, forever, Ibuprofen, aspirin, ibuprofen, and so Tylenol, things like that. Well, more uh, aspirin. You know, aspirin. Right. I, you know, they tend to yeah shut down both COX one, COX two. So, you know, when, when it got into looking at this stuff, how did how did it really work? And what and, and a lot of the research that was done on it was at Harvard. Uh, they did a lot of research. They had to. It was I mean, actually done at their pain clinic. Yeah. They started looking at it mostly for pain. Initially, right. it, that's what they were looking right. at it for, is for a, to help with pain and people in chronic right. pain. Right, and, and when you look at, you know, the, they had a, a lot of people with pain, so they started studying it, and they realized that, you know, they found these things. Well, they said, okay, this is stuff our body makes if we have the raw materials. That's the key. Right. And, and if you're young enough, they found that as you <coughs> age, you don't make SPMs like you used to. There's that A word. So, exactly. <laughs> So that also decreases SPM production is just the aging process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why as we get more mature, um, that's why things bother us more because we can't make the SPMs like we're supposed to. The result, the it takes longer are, for us to heal. It takes a lot exactly. longer for you to exactly. heal. Inflammatory, it takes exactly. a lot longer right. to and, heal. Right, and, and that's, a, you know, and then you couple that with the fact that the average American diet um, is pretty devoid in omega-3s, it really is. And you have to have omega-3s in order for your body to make SPMs. Right. Now there's right. one of the one of the omega-6s, is arachidonic acid, that's an omega-6 that can, it's in part of that too. Uh, and it makes some of the things, you get back, you know, if you start reading, you're here, you're gonna read about things like uh, interleukins and things like that. All that's part of this process. All that is part of that inflammatory process, but it has to be controlled. It's like starting a, a controlled fire is what it's doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, you can go out and start a fire and it might destroy a whole forest before you know it. 
And that's kind of what happens in our body. And a lot of researchers, if you dig through, you know, read things, and, and God knows it's been written for years, you know, the, the root cause of all disease is inflammation. Yeah. Well, no kidding, but how do we do anything about it? And that's where these resolvents come in. Now they've only been available on the market that we had availability to them for about what, four or five years, four years? Maybe a little bit more than that. It's probably, we've probably been using them for four or five years, uh, okay. but they may have been, they may have been available somewhere. Commercially I mean, available is right, a little but, different. Yeah. They were so making them, but. The S, but we've been using them now for a while right. and have seen unbelievable results yeah. with them. Um, Cause of course our lab work that we do, if, if, well, some of the lab work, I should say, they're like the cardiac panel and the pain panel and things like that look for inflammation markers. Mm -hmm. And we have found over the years we've been using it that the SPMs lower those inflammatory markers better than anything we've ever used. Right. And that's one of the things that they've researched is how much it can actually lower the inflammation markers. And so if it lowers those markers, you know it's lowering the inflammation in the body because that's actually something that you can test. So it's not just about people say, oh, I took it, my pain was better. Yes, we are seeing people have pain relief with it as well. And some people it's quicker than others. We have some people that they say they can tell after a week and we have other people that said two, it took two months, but then it was the best thing they've ever taken. So it, it, everybody's different on time frame on how long it takes to work. Cause it depends on the problem that it has to resolve in order to help your pain. How widespread it is. Yes. Yeah. How much. Um, yeah. So that's kind of, and, and the good thing, like I said, it helps resolve. And that's kind of what I like about it is we have a lot of stuff in natural medicine that actually is an anti-inflammatory, but it doesn't necessarily help resolve in the problem. Mm -hmm. So that's the good part of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, what kind of problems can, um, you know, can you have as far as, I mean, what, what kind of problems would want you to take, take, take SPMs? It. Well, people think your obvious inflammation. Right. I mean, like I said, all disease starts with inflammation. I see it. Um, people know the obvious if you hurt, you know, if you're being active and you pull a tendon, if you hurt a muscle, if you hurt anything like that, that's one. Chronic problems and chronic illnesses and autoimmune diseases is another big one. Um, but another thing people wouldn't think about is infection. People really? don't think about infections. Call it, well, what, it, it probably people heard this in the media. What actually hurt people with COVID? What actually made them, most people kill them? The cytokine storm. Okay, remember hearing about that? Okay. Okay, the cytokine storm. Cytokine storm is an inflammatory storm. And I mean, it goes crazy and it starts damaging everything because it's trying to respond and it's to the inf infection. So infection is one of the big things. Actually, that's one of the things when we do lab work on people and we see an extreme high inflammation marker and they don't have a condition that would make that. It's usually an infection. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, there's an infection somewhere. You know, people have those inflammatory responses to infection. They have them to cancer. Mm -hmm. They have them to injury. So it is, you know, People don't think about infection as an inflama inflammation. Right. Lots of inflammation goes on with an infection. Can you take SPM just um, you know, on a regular basis as a precautionary thing to yes. lessen the chance of you getting you know, an inflammation, infection, or anything like that? I'll tell you what, oh, sure you can. And I'll tell you what, if you start reading through some of the research, you're gonna to wanna to go out and buy it. I don't care if you, if you oh, I feel, I feel like Charles Atlas, you're gonna to wanna to go get some because you know that something's going on in there that you don't know about. And that's what you got to worry about. You know, so yes, and it's actually a really good idea. It doesn't hurt Prob you long term to take it. Probably the best thing, yeah, right. It's probably the best mm -hmm. thing is prevention. I mean, that, that's, that's ultimately like, gosh, yeah, let me have some. And you know, that's why that, you know, we've been stressing, you know, omega-3s and so on for God forever. And one of the things that happens is those omega-3s are metabolized into some of these uh, resolvins and marisins and so on. And you know, if we just don't, if we don't get enough in our diet, uh, and you know, that's kind of a problem. So yeah. we, we can't make this stuff. So our, and if your yeah. body can't make what it needs, things go bad. Well, yeah. that's why you take you know, the way I feel about it. Mm -hmm. That's why you take supplements in the first place. I mean, right. Like, yeah, go in and do the yeah. blood work. Yeah. Find out what your body is lacking in. I mean, this is why the regimen they have me on. And I have in the last eight years or so that uh, you know I've been under your guidance <laughs> and everything I have felt I mean I'm about to turn 66 years old and a lot of people can't believe that but it's true um, but I have felt the best that I have felt in many years I mean just 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm working out and everything, I'm eating a lot better, but just with the supplements that I'm taking, you know, are, are not, are, 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 you know, lessen the chance of me having an issue with some of the things. Like, right, you know. right. And like I said, omega-3s, that's why, I mean, definitely everybody needs their omega-3s. Well, I take three and, a day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so the omega-3s, at least you have the components to make SPMs. Um, if, but, but the SPM is stronger just to take it by itself. And if you do want that preventative, but at least take omega-3. Mm -hmm. But if you don't take them, I mean, even if you take omega-3, you can also take SPMs. So oh. we take both. Yeah. Um, the more research, the more stuff you read about this, it's like, oh my gosh, everybody needs SPMs because it actually helps the body heal. We started using the even more in when, when, when COVID hit because the research started coming out pretty quick about COVID, how it helped the, keep down the lung damage from COVID. From the cytokine and storm. It, from the right. cytokine storm. Mm -hmm. It actually cytokine, kept yeah. that cytokine storm from damaging the organs and the body and all that. So it was on our list of things to take even if you before COVID. You know what I mean? Like don't, you know, kind of one of the preventative things. Everybody yeah. knew about the D and the C and, you know, I mean, things like, you know, zinc and quercetin. Right, I remember us talking about that early but on. But we actually We've put, talked about we, it a we've lot. Added, yeah, we have. The we've the added, the we've added SPM that. from the beginning and people are like, why would you take this? And it's because if you do get it, it isn't necessarily going to keep you from getting it. Right. But if you do get it, it keeps down that extreme cytokine storm. Mm -hmm. So there's actually, the research, when you start looking, it is good for every area of the body. There's now, the longer they keep doing research on it, the more I even saw an art, you know, the article on endometriosis. You know, endometriosis. Oh, yeah. Inflammation, yeah. overgrowth of the endometrium. Mm -hmm. They found that the endometrium has huge amounts of SPM receptors. And the more receptors an area has, the more that it can actually help with that problem. So they've looked and they say, okay, it helps the lungs, it helps the kidneys, it helps the heart, it helps the, the endometrium, brain. it helps the brain. brain. I mean, you start looking at it, it's like, oh my All gosh. All the important parts. That's All the important we, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. That's why we decided to do a show on it because most people don't know what it is. Yeah. It's not a supplement you're going to probably find at your big box stores. It's a pretty specialized supplement. Um, and for a while, there was only one company that had the exclusive rights before, of course, other companies start learning how to get around the patent. Um, but at first, they had the exclusive, and we've had it since they had it. And we yeah. still have theirs. Yeah. Because theirs is stronger, but is more costly. A lot. So it is a lot more, yeah. So it costs more, but it actually is stronger per capsule. And so, and, and you know, almost every other company that has SPMs, there is still some fish oil in the process. What they do is they take fish oil and use an enzyme to convert it into SPMs. Mm -hmm. And like in our product and in all other companies that we've seen just about, there is still some omega-3 left. Not with the initial company that has it. There is none left. It is actually straight SPMs. Mm -hmm. Um, so someone that can't take fish oil can a lot of times can't take our SPM and our, our brand because it still makes them like nauseous if that's what if that's what it does the fish oil mm -hmm. but people can mm -hmm. usually can take that other one that has none left yeah. so we do have options for both people yeah. even and, and if you can't take omega-3s yeah. we have that option and we do sell a lot of it because it's stronger and the capsules are smaller and people say I want the smaller capsule I want you yeah. know, a higher dose. So we have both. And, and the thing about it is if you just take omega-3s, and, and this is something we didn't know early on until this research started mm -hmm. coming out on SPMs. If you st if you take SP like you've been taking them now for God, for years, like omega -3s. everybody, omega -3, like, yeah. like we have, right? All right, it takes sometimes six, eight weeks or more if we give you an omega-3 for your body to convert it into these SPMs. And then like he said, if, as we get more mature, we don't do that conversion quite as easily. Mm -hmm. And so we're, even if we're taking omega-3s, we're still not getting the, the full effect of the SPM. I mean, hmm. really, really kind of cool stuff. Wow. It really wow. is. The more you read about it, and, and research is coming out constantly. Yeah. If you go to PubMed and put special pro-resolving mediators in there, it, or even just pro-resolving um, pro mediators, you don't even have to put specialized, but. All right. They will. So uh, SPM's a good thing to take on a regular basis. Yeah. I, you know, like I said, we do. Yeah, we yeah, do. I mean, we especially as, as we mature. Right, <laughs> exactly. Uh, well, about omega-3s, exactly. like, you know, we talked about omega-3s is what produces it. And there is something that we can test called an omega-check. 
where the omega check actually looks at the omega threes and the arachidonic acid that he mentioned. It, it looks at omega six, omega nine, omega three, looks at all your omegas in the body to tell where the levels are. We have never had anybody pretty much have enough omega three if they did not supplement it. Even if they're taking, even if they're taking some of the low strength ones yes. from the big box stores, they don't show having enough. As a matter of fact, I, I had a, a lady not too long ago, we did an omega check on and she said, well, I've been taking omega threes for like years, you know? I said, what kind are you taking? And she's something she'd buy in the big box store. I said, tell you what, if it comes back normal, I'll pay for it. She said, really? <laughs> I said, yep. I said, you know, no, no big deal. Well, yes, ma'am, I want to do this. She had, and when it came back, she was like, oh my God. She had, she had virtually no uh, of the omegas, enough omega-3s, nowhere even close. Right, because when you look at omega threes, everything's looking at EPA and DHA, yeah. and there is huge differences in EPA and DHA content on, in the better products right. and the lower quality products. A huge difference. You might have to take fifteen of a lower one, yeah. <laughs> and people aren't going to do that. So, if somebody's taking one or two of these low strength omega threes, it is not enough omega three. Yeah. So that it, our omega threes are stronger. And um, we have a lot of people that take our omega-3s that check if they're taking at least four. If they're taking one of ours, even probably not going to be enough. Mm -hmm. So, and then people that take the liquid usually have enough. Right. So we have, we've watched through the years of who shows having enough and it's only the people that supplement. It takes, it takes big doses, mm -hmm. it really does. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, is there a remedy for anything natural to take for someone who doesn't have a thyroid to replace the chemical thyroid pill? If you don't have a thyroid, yeah, it's it's pretty tough to do anything about that. Yeah, I we mean, don't recommend just stop. No, and we do no. have the natural thyroid, um, which is desiccated thyroid from an animal, yeah. which usually when we've had somebody though with none, we might supplement some of that, but we don't recommend stopping your medication. Oh, no, no, you yeah. can't. All right. And I'd unfortunately, there's nothing you can do to stimulate your own thyroid to work. <laughs> because it isn't there anymore. Because it isn't there anymore. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, right. if, if it's gone, that's why it's really hard because it's gone. So it's best to take care of that thyroid. Yes, it is. Yeah. And if you do not supplement enough on your thyroid, if you don't take your medication, your body can actually start growing thyroid tissue in other parts of the body. And sometimes that is not good because yeah. you need thyroid. And if your body's not getting what it needs, it'll start trying to do it. And I've seen some people with some really weird, I had one guy that thyroid tissue grew back around his heart. So he actually had to have surgery um, to try to remove all that tissue because it was kind of squeezing the heart. And believe it or not, it happens. It's not the common. But that's one reason why you you have to replace your thyroid. Mm -hmm. You can't go without thyroid hormone, especially if it was removed by, from due to a thyroid cancer. Right, and thyroid. That, yeah, that, you it, definitely it, don't want that tissue to come back of a thyroid cancer because then it can yeah. actually come back cancerous. Yeah, those endocrinologists are mm -hmm. going to try to keep that that uh, thyroid stimulating hormone at rock bottom. Right. Because they know these other consequences can come in and, and it's not right. good. Yeah. Thyroid's a, a touchy subject, so.